Welcome back everyone to Let's Play Rule of Waves. This is 2 as Germany episode number 76. We're gonna hit spacebar. The game is gonna crash or not. Or is it? Is it crashed? Okay, good. The fifth attempt. Hooray! <laughs> if there's no other reason to end this series, it should be that we need to end it because every time I load a battle, the game crashes like several times before I get a, a one that I actually process them what the first minute. So if there's something wrong, I don't know what it is. I think it's the uh, fighters. Something related to the aircraft, for sure. Obviously, we didn't have this error in the Waves, the original. But it always happens if the next turn I'm going to have aircraft approaching. Like we just did. <laughs> Causing some big problems. Now, the Repulse is still alive and well, unfortunately. We believe... What? That cannot be an accurate report. She has all of her guns available? No, I don't think so. The Goliath has correctly shown up as sunk, so maybe. The Nieder Soxen Sok has torpedoes. Okay, so she's the, the, the game ender that we called for. Uh, Samantha's a dead one. I think she's like eight. Thousand tons, eight, eighty-three hundred tons. I don't know how many aircraft she carries. Probably not many. Maybe two. Maybe just one with this kind of displacement. Six five-inch guns. Lots of anti-aircraft as well. So another thing is there is an available aircraft. We could decide to get these three torpedo bombers just to get ready. I see. No, I see no reason why not to. I doubt they'll do anything, but. <coughs> okay, Foxhound, good hits on that. Samantha's already dead. We'll probably gotta switch over. Who's attacking? And we want you guys to actually switch over and attack something else then. Like the Foxhound. Let's have both of them target the Foxhound. Actually, no, no, no. The Nerode is still going to target the Samantha because she might not actually be dead. No, I'm pretty sure she's dead. She doesn't report being dead. I'm not dead yet. So let's switch these guys. Have you target the Peshawar? Peshawar. And you target the Foxhound. Whoops, wrong Foxhound that fox out. <clears throat> okay, good. And eventually we'll get down to this other one. Good hits. We're moving in on the on the merchants. That's good. Um, Niedersocken is actually taking some brutal hits. Time to get her spread off quickly. Before anything else happens. I think this has already been four torpedoes, but hey, we've survived four torpedoes, so apparently they can too. Pull this back out. Uh, we are defending ourselves against some aircraft. It looks like three Blenheim torpedo bombers. And we destroyed them. <laughs> we destroyed four, somehow. A bit unusual, but um, there's 15 more coming in, dive bombers. And we're gunning them down, but yeah, I think that you should turn away, deploy smoke. I will honestly launch more torpedoes. The repulse being this close to my carriers is rather dangerous, obviously. So we, we uh, it would behoove us to really make a strong effort to finish her off. Is this Colossus officially sinking? She's not, so our destroyers with four torpedoes will go over and finish that one off as our light cruisers close in on the remaining carriers. And the Rhine also tailing pretty far behind, but she's also there for, I mean, right now just moral support, but eventually she can contribute. Yeah. And yeah, everyone's tasked with their thing. We're like pushing things to the absolute limit. Absolute limit. Champion, it's good. We're getting good hits on her. <laughs> well, the, never mind. Those are four-inch guns. Samantha still. Who's attacking them? So I thought I. Would... Oh, the Nerode. No, but the you are supposed to be targeting. 
you are targeting the Foxhound, but these are your four inch guns, they are. Wish we would preserve that ammunition for aircraft, but it's gonna be a little bit difficult. Oh my gosh, that looks brutal. Get out of there. Boy, I hope I don't lose this one. She's taking a lot of hits. <laughs> <clears throat> um, no more torpedoes on this one, but honestly, the Norvi here might be able to come in and do some damage with their six-inch guns. That's what we might be reduced to. You are speeding along with torpedoes to assist, but you may actually be recalled to deal with the repulse. Otherwise, I think we're still clear to move on in to destroy these merchant ships. <laughs> okay, two more torpedoes. That is very convincing. It's the perfect, it's really perfect. So that's really gonna help. Uh, we're just gonna get the neater out of here. Survive, live at all costs. <laughs> 22 flooding is not good for a destroyer. That's quite a lot. It's not going to sink her right away, but they they usually have a hard time patching those big holes. Um, otherwise, it looks like we're starting. Uh, what is this? This grasshopper is able to contribute. Jeez, man. There's a lot of living ships over here. Send these guys down to deal with it, I guess. Oh, your structure damage is not okay. Let's detach you and send you back. Okay, good. Otherwise, everything looks more or less okay. And the Victorious here, what do we have? We've gotta save some ammunition for her. She's sporting a, a brutal broadside of six inch guns, honestly. Oh no, the two turret damaged again. Incredible. I was just kind of joking with some people about uh, how this happens much too often. I think it was Finnish and Alekias, and uh, I told them that, you know, in real life, this ha this double turret damage, the two turrets damaged at the same time has happened like twice. And we have it happen like five times in a single battle. Every battle. <laughs> okay, the repulse is officially sunk now, so that's really good news. The problem is this grasshopper apparently is not sunk and is willing to do battle. We'll just get out of her way as fast as possible. What's your excuse? Lots of flooding here. Let's slow you way down and try to get that fixed. <coughs> okay, let's see what we have going on. Amphion being hit with six inch guns. That's after the champion's been kind of swatted around, I guess. Foxhound. Foxhound. I think this one's just already dead. Yeah. So pretty soon we're going to want to switch over to the Victorious. We definitely want to mirror her course. Uh, turret disabled. Man, get out of here. Really don't want to lose her. I think we might even want the Norvi to go down and destroy that destroyer. Wow, you are really in not good shape. <laughs> and you are also not in good shape. Just structural wise, but that's a I mean that's a good reason to try to stay safe. Okay, stop it, enough of that. Good, finally landed two more foreign shells on the grasshopper. Hopefully quiet her down. We're gonna slow down the cruise here as well. So that means we have two rear guns, good. Um, we do have the seas neck coming in to try to eliminate the grasshopper entirely. And that will be, oh, two on the Colossus, okay. Yeah, we're going after a ship which is not yet sunk, so it's a good, it's good that we're doing that. We're starting to land hits on this next uh, seaplane tender. I know that we launched a few attacks. I don't know what has happened with those quite yet. Have they launched? Let's take a look at three available. That might be worth launching. Four still. 
I mean, we should have. Are they underway yet? Cap, cap, cap. Seven, nine, one, one. Um. Oh crap! Do we launch it in the wrong area? I don't know. Losses. Okay, you took a hit from the Peshawar, which is not. I think it's six inch guns, five, five inch guns. Okay, dual purpose five inch guns actually kind of makes me think about adding AMCs and putting five inch dual purpose guns on them, just so they can add a uh, AA to the fleet. Might be a cheap, cheap anti aircraft defense. <laughs> but with the Peshawar, the only one that we actually have to sink because everything else is sinking. I'm gonna pull the Narod off and ask her to also engage. Peshawar. Probably the... Yeah, everyone, basically. Because everyone else is thinking that Foxhound is definitely dead, and Samantha, did she finally commit... Yeah. She's finally uh, committed her speed to the, to the destroyed figure. Um, I think this champion might have survived. Nope, it didn't. So let's get this group, the arena, start targeting the Amphion. There it is. Good. Um, you guys are going to go in and you're going to use torpedoes. So, good. And you're just trying to catch up with them. Yeah, this Peshawar is actually doing pretty well. Niter is actually launching more torpedoes at the formidable, I suppose. Whatever, it's fine. Doesn't matter too much. <clears throat> too much. Sensman's actually launching torpedoes. Where are you launching torpedoes, though? Who are you engaging? Oh wow, you're launching them at the Foxhound, boy. Wrong target. <laughs> We're definitely catching up to the Victorious. Oh, good. That's three. Well, those are only four inch hits, but if I'm not mistaken, do these have armor? They do. Two inch. Yeah, so that might actually be stopping four inch guns. I assume they are. I don't think four inch guns can penetrate anything. Not in the early game, at least, but I don't know. I guess we can. I might as well just see if. Yeah, okay, never mind. They can penetrate two inches of belt at 5,000 yards, and we're at 6,400. So, 6,400. We're probably penetrating. I think that we're penetrating at this point. It's good. <laughs> Even with six inch, or four inch guns. Turn this guy on not launching torpedoes. All that has been reset, reloading the game, of course. But I think we're okay. Formidables, taking torpedoes. Oh, that's the, the neater's job. So Repulse is now down. Grasshopper is down. Okay, good. We did it. We survived. So get you down to speed of four. Sends you this direction. Basically just lets you recover. Sees neck. Sorry, I'm so sorry about this, but still still cutting over this thing. Let's put you back on patrol duty for the Norvi. So that she has something. She has a cap, of course, but we might want more than that. Okay, three. I may end up doing this. It's kind of weird. They should have a cap, but maybe they don't. Just gonna ready it. Go down to the 21. Yeah, we're gonna ready this. Let's see if it works at least. I mean, for aircraft, the best, the, uh, at least what, what we'd be hoping for is them to have to kind of like redirect their course a bit 
because of the incoming attacks from the aircraft, that would already be enough to make it worthwhile. And knowing that we have a flanking force out to the left, to the west, we'll kind of err on the side of caution moving to the east against this victorious. Do you guys launch torpedoes? Because now would be a good time, I think. She's dead stopped. Was this a waste? No, she's still not reporting, you know, destruction, but we're kind of sure she is. Engine room hit on the deck, but the deck held. So four inches of armor was able to do something. Okay, you guys don't have any torpedoes left, but we'll send you back south, I guess, to deal with the transports. Graf von Eisen is coming in here, and she's going to help out finishing them up as well. So what a waste of torpedoes. <coughs> Excuse me. Colossus, Strahoga's champion. So champion's already sinking. What we'd like to see is hits on the Amphion. Maybe get the arena to just move towards her. She's obviously avoiding aircraft right now. Surprising how many aircraft they end up getting into the air. I don't know what the British budget is. Well, well, it doesn't take much to find out. Wow. Wow. Wow, it was surprising, but... Okay, uh, Grasshopper taking a hit. That's that one. Pashwar. Okay, the Pashwar is probably going down now. She's taking a lot of hits. Actually, I think we do want to keep pummeling this thing with guns, because it may sink faster that way. One hit. That should be enough to doom her, though. Yeah. Foxhound. Grasshopper. Boshwer. Archmerton. Samantha. Grasshopper. And then more aircraft stuff going on. So this is the important one, I guess. This one. Are we going to be able to close? Gibraltar. Oh, we landed a hit. Wow, fantastic. Our first hit. Maybe not our first hit, but we did knock out a gun. Or had already. Who knows? Were you getting bombarded from the AMC? Yeah, that's why I was trying to pull this guy back, actually. I saw the AMC and was like, you know what? Let's pull this guy back. Well, let's continue to pull him back. That was a brutal hit. Okay, good. We're doing some damage now. That's a crap. Ah, oh, that's a 16-inch gun, too. <coughs> Excuse me. Not the kind of damage something like an AMC is going to recover from. <laughs> Hold fire for 10 minutes. Hold fire for 10 minutes. I don't think that this thing is in action anymore. She's 8,400 tons. Yeah, I think those turrets are, are destroyed, actually. I mean, that is a lot of 6-inch shells. Now we just want to start targeting the Victorious. So I think we will set ship target as Victorious. We'll definitely have the division prioritize the Victorious. And in a moment, we'll start letting them open up. I think I'll let you guys continue to shoot. Colossus, Amphion, that's good. That's a good, oh, it's only five inch guns, but it's still something. I think I'm gonna actually have to turn off, uh, turn the um, Oxoft, the exact unit that wouldn't give credit for that hit. What is your mission right now? Okay, good. Yeah, both of them. So I, I actually want to run, run down this Amphion. We don't. We are not needed over here with the Graphon Eisen able to destroy those AMCs. We can just let everyone else peel off, do their thing. Get you guys to start engaging again as well. 
And you're targeting, good. Lead ship targeting the correct one. Let's have lead ship also target the Victorious. Ah, they're not in range yet. Well, if that's the case, then we'll try to get both of these ships to target the Victorious. Assuming she's in range and she happens to be. So we just need to land a few hits. Colossus, lots of hits on the Colossus. I know she's going down, but it'd be nice if she sank. <laughs> All right. Foxhound, no, not important. Or wait. Yeah, that one's active, actually. That's a good hit. We are still focusing on the Amphion, which is good. Oh my god. We actually need to get one of these guys to really go after the Amphion. She can mess up some of our ships up here. She's going to wreck our ship. Um, not much more to say. I, I guess we just putz along here. P25 is launching torpedoes. Always scary. Is scary. You're, you're being blasted. She got you to cruise and head that way. It's really a hell of a hit, this hawk. This, oh, that's that foxhound. So I actually kind of ran back into it. Um, but, um, unbeknownst to me, let's go over here. How's that foxhound doing? Yeah, she's alive. 1,700 tons. It's a real threat. S-52 has detached. Wow. No flooding, but she is basically dead. Strong wind or a, a big swell and she's going down. I'm just going to park her. Don't even move. Champion hits. I don't want champion hits. You gotta focus on the Amphion. What do we have? What do we have? They can take on a, a light cruiser here. I think sadly nothing. Like this battle cruiser is supposed to be the one who does that. Start hitting. It's very, very important arena. You have to start hitting. You are engaging the Amphion. Okay, good. It's like extremely important. Okay. Two aircraft destroyed. <clears throat> we have 10 cap right above them. I think it's gonna be more effective than whatever anti-aircraft guns we have. No, you guys are, you really have to start engaging. Uh, yeah, just hold fire then until you're close enough. Just hopefully in 10 minutes. Grasshopper, champion. Oh, not important. Stop with the six inch guns on the wrong target. I think we're gonna have to pursue her. We're limited to a max speed of four. Okay, yeah, so go squad max and like chase this Amphion. <laughs> Just gonna pull all our guys over to the west in a uh, last minute attempt to save them. I'm gonna have my carriers come in even. They have six inch guns. I'll be able to save a few ships. Diverting to save everything else is bizarre, I'm sure. Okay, you guys are not being smart. There's a carrier, and there's a sinking seaplane tender. You do the math. Which one do I want you to hit? I'll just make it clear because you might not answer correctly. So 
no hits, but at least we're shooting at the right target. It's making me feel a little bit better. Ah! Finally! Victorious! It's been hit! Colossus. Okay, these guys are really spinning off to the west. Which is actually going to give our battleships a chance to catch up. And this Amphion, she's still steadily streaming forward. Gibraltar, that's a good hit. Just need to slow down that division. <coughs> Ooh, victorious as well. Good. Stop, please, please hit the Amphion. It's kind of funny. We'll, we'll, we probably won't make... Wow, we may make this mistake again. Kind of letting one off the hook. And then seeing them kind of drive into your lines and causing real problems. It's like a Bismarck situation. Shouldn't let her get to the North Sea. Especially the sea beyond North. Not even north of that. Okay, the Victoria... I think that she's going to end up succumbing to the pretty intense fire here. I wonder how the... Von Eisen's doing. Is she just doing her own thing? Yeah, just keep doing your own thing. Okay, Victorious is starting to get hit frequently. The Amphion! Hooray! She's actually coming back our way. Thankfully. Lucky for us. Just assuming that if you're out here, you're damaged? Yeah. So we'll just get you guys to all head south. Actually, you know what? Just do south would be just fine. That'll take you away from the coast. It's fine by me. Anything south-ish is fine. Okay, you can resume your previous course. Let's see if that... Oh, yeah, we do have a few people getting ready here. Yeah, so I think what I'd like to do with these guys is launch them over here. Shouldn't take very long for four planes to launch. Just want to try to cause some damage to those to that group before my cruisers get there. I don't think we need to assign any other aircraft to do anything because... Oh, I mean, never mind. Our torpedo bombers presumably are going to find them. Okay, good. So that group finally made it to the target. This one's definitely a goner, and I think that's the last cruiser uh, carrier in this area. At least the last one we're going to go for. The last one we know about. <laughs> <coughs> okay, Seasnack, you don't have to lay smoke anymore, but, you know, feel free to be you. Yeah, of course is doing very well. Can I actually tell these guys not to fire for a while? Because their ammunition eh, is doing okay, actually. I just want to keep closing before we uh, do anything. Oh, good. Okay. We're starting to do the damage now. Let's turn this way. I think we're in line of breast. Screen. Well, look. Let's go to line ahead. Just going to create some confusion here, but we already started to land some 5-inch shells. That's very important. She, both of her rear guns are dead. She obviously has taken some hits. Maybe this was a dual turret kill thing, the stupid thing happening. Oh my good lord. This is funny. This is all the Graf von Eisen. <laughs> her 4-inch guns hit something. Her 6-inch guns hit something. Her 6-inch guns on the other side hit something. And then her 16-inch guns hit something. Holy cow. Okay, let's get her to direct her attention with those 16-inch guns to the AMCs. So the preferred targets for those big guns. Just to eliminate them pretty quickly. I don't know what happened to... That is, I guess, the... I don't know what happened to the other foxhound over here. 
Yeah, we'll start picking up survivors. Did these guys just miss the target? It's quite possible. We're actually in range of those guns if we can locate them. Victorious is probably in her death throes now. She knows at this point there's no escape. If I were her, I would just keep a level line and try to get some hits on before I go down. But... How are we doing with the torpedoes on this? We have... Most of our port sides appear to have been launched. <laughs> but we have three. We'll hold on to those for a little bit longer, but pretty soon we'll be using them. Oh, not that we really need to, frankly. It looks like we did find the target up here, which is nice. They're actually turning south, which is... Honestly, not the best thing they could do. They don't know, but they're about to run smack into the brine. And they'll be cornered off by the light by the light cruisers at this point now as well. And the Victorious is just getting pummeled. The Amphion is now getting pummeled pummeled. Yeah, she's turning back. Smart decision. Like, no! I I changed my mind. We only hit her with five inch guns. Yeah, I mean she's still dangerous. Okay, good. We're finally hitting the 16-inch guns. This is, whoa, wow. An AMC that actually has any 16-inch guns hitting is probably just dead. Oh, yeah. The ones we launched. Wait. Those... Oh, those are the flying boats. Our guys over here really aren't able yeah, to find the target. Victorious is certainly dead. Halberdier is definitely dead. Six inch guns are taking care of her at this point. Let's switch over to the other Halberdier. Okay. Victorious is certainly dead. Is she officially? She might be even officially dead now. No, I mean, she's lost every single gun on her surface. She's a goner. We'll peel under the south side of her, torpedo her, send her to the bottom, and then bring back these forces. In fact, the destroyer we'll bring back right away, because it's pretty obvious how that's going to go. Most of these ships are sunk. The, the real threat here is this foxhound, who's determined. And we're hitting the wrong one, darn it. Ah! Near miss for the Donner of Alden. Gonna be a pain in the butt to group all these guys back up okay so i think we'll just peel back north immediately we don't re we'll just do one bypass on her dear foxhound amphion good 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 and these are now sinking hooray five inch shell six inch shell the wrong halberdier still Schneck got a near miss. Another near miss. It was damaging. So we'll slow her down to try to get her to repair. Africa. That's a new one. Oh, it's the Rhine. The Rhine has found the range against these carriers. And that's probably the end of it for them. We'll steam in, try to take out the Gibraltar who's already actually on fire. That is a 32,000 ton carrier. 14 six inch guns. Where are they hiding the extra one? <laughs> That's what I want to know. How did they do that? It's interesting that they did. Even. Africa's getting just creamed, holy cow. 16 inch shells slamming into her. I guess at this point she knows it's over. Hitting the correct one yet? Not yet. Victorious, victorious. Oh, wait, no. Yeah, we're that one's we know that one's dead, but we want you to attack the other one. Okay, Gibraltar's getting hit now by our cruisers. Several hits, in fact. She's already on fire. She's not going to be able to return fire very effectively. 
still only getting that second one. Um, let's make our way north and try to like weave through and destroy any of the ships that are left here. Victorious, Jim just slammed. She officially sunk. Not yet, but this is gonna put a lot of flooding on her. She'll go down. Um, that's actually a good hit because I'm I was a little worried about what what her deal is. Yeah, she's alive. Well, the Ryan is just going to go full-blown challenge mode on these guys. Still landing 16-inch shell after 16-inch shell on these. Oh, uh, they're starting to lose turrets. I mean, you just imagine this carrier just taking shell after shell. Now, they're usually such a high profile that I imagine most of these are belt penetrating. But deck penetrate. I mean, it's a very big target. Hard to miss. I don't know if that's measured. If that's, like, included in the... Uh... But still, I mean, the important part is to hit the belt. Like water line, that doesn't change much. That's so just basically a function of the length of the ship. <coughs> so I'm not sure if this is the, yeah, that is the. I think that's the foxhound, the missing foxhound. Okay, Gibraltar. I think we can already call her done for. I'm gonna try to get the Val the Vexler, I should say, to target this. Last raccoon class, maybe get some hits on her. Because the Ryan's going to take care of the Africa, or will, I assume. And still no hits on the AMC of choice. There we go, two hits. That's, I mean, even if some of her near misses, they're probably doing some damage. That might be enough to end her. Gibraltar, Gibraltar, and you're targeting the Africa. Did not hit. Are you out of ammunition? Definitely not. You have high explosive. <coughs> Plenty of ammunition left. You guys can go over here and help. More hits. Two more six. Okay, so she's a goner now. Oh, officially not. We'll keep pursuing then. Oh, good. We're, we're finally... Oh, who did I just turn? The graph on eyes in. Nope, don't do that. Uh, who did I want to turn? Arena? That's fine. Yeah, Stasho's fine. These guys. Get them down to 29 so they can start to form up a bit. Oh my god, no! No! I mean do our best here, but this is not good. She only has, well, she does have two three inch guns as well, but she only has two six inch guns. She's so undergunned now. If I had been micromanaging this better, nothing would have happened. We would have easily killed her, but she's definitely in a position to do some damage now, unfortunately. I believe this ship is dead, but it's not reporting it as such. So we'll wait a little bit longer. Send you back in. Yeah, you guys are pursuing. Okay. Let's get the, uh, how's your ammunition? You're running low on forward firing, and yeah, but the superimposed is still very capable. Done some good damage to the Gibraltar. We might switch off now, have the Rhine start targeting the Gibraltar, and have the rest of the light cruisers start targeting the Africa. I assume this Africa has some problems taking all those those shells, but possible she's still doing okay. The Gibraltar is definitely not doing okay. There's just no two ways about it. She's taking a lot of hits. And it's 40 minutes. We gotta try. I mean, the test of this Amphion is annoying. Got a hit. 16 inch. Hooray. Did we knock out? I just want to knock out that last gun. <laughs> 
Um, we're motoring through the rest of the, the remains of the transports. Fair enough. Landed a hit on the halberdier. Okay, yeah, she's done for. Okay, let's turn your weapons on this foxhound. Is she dead? She is. Okay, then your guns are not needed anywhere. You can attack wherever you want. All right, so we start new. As soon as we get the last carriers here, we'll just mop these guys. Uh, like uh, switch these guys over. Yeah, good. So set your ship target to be the Gibraltar. That's fine. And you guys will start switching over to the Africa. Soon enough. In fact, we'll probably turn south anyway. This is really not a good turning mode. I don't know what's going on because I'm mainly worried about the Rhine here getting hit. Good, so she probably avoided any hits. The Africa is starting to take a few hits as well. Amphion getting creamed. Hooray! Finally! We got him! Look at that. Four 16-inch shells. That's probably going to end her. Did she get any hits on the Schnellar Younger? Are you doing okay? Eleven fifty-nine. Yeah, that was the last hit. It was eleven fifty-nine, so we're we're barely staying alive, and that last barrage is probably going to make Amphion ability to target. I don't want to say non-existent because it might still be, you know, possible, but not very likely to be effective. Okay, so first of all, we need to switch targets over to, yeah, the Africa. The Gibraltar is definitely dead. Um, Africa. Yeah, let's target the Africa, make sure that she gets destroyed. CV bomb hit. I don't even know what's going on. I mean, pfft. we're hitting ships that are already sinking, basically. It's, it can't be anything else. Everything is sinking. Everything is sinking. Now it'd be really nice to have the main force. I think there's a way to set it everyone to cruise in the future patch, but we're not there yet. So we'll set everyone. I wish there was also a button to set them all to 10. Honestly, if I had my way, <laughs> this, this would be a lot. I mean, the whole interface just could use some work, right? So we're just going to assume that everyone is done with their mission, whether it's true or not. Oh yeah, you guys were targeting this one. You guys may not be done with your mission, so go ahead and go squad max still. Uh, whoops. It's not necessary. Is Amphion dead? She is. Okay, hooray. You can turn back south. Alright, let's get you to head south. You to head south. And eventually we'll... Oh, you guys are... Wow, way over here. What are we hitting? Yeah, doesn't matter. Oh my gosh. Amphion got hit by a torpedo. That's good news, actually. Feed her to the bottom. Let these guys roam back towards everyone. I'm not going to worry about that one destroyer. Crap, I have to. Because otherwise she might kill my ships. Foxhound, good. Uh, we destroyed two turrets. One is uh, three turrets. One is disabled. So we do need to keep running her down. I saw some hits on the Africa, which is good. Are they from the Rhine? Because if they are, that's really good. No, they're from the Valkyrie. And the Vexler. Africa. 16 inch hits. Yeah, 16 inch hits. You didn't hear that. <laughs> it's 
what I was saying the whole time. Um, she's not dead yet, but she's, yeah, she's nearly extinct. Gibraltar. God, the same kind of thing, actually. She's not officially sunk. So you know what? Let's get the destroyers. Do you, you guys don't have any torpedoes left, though. Actually, sadly, of all the things, it's my just uh, cruisers with the torpedoes. Well, look. Let's get the Rhine to just swing back that way. Wait, this guy has torpedoes. All right, that's, that's who will do it. Wait. Oh, I thought she had sunk. No, that was just a smoke. Making her look that way. I'm sure she's going down, but the 32,001, we don't want to leave that one dangling for RNG to decide whether it survives or not. We definitely would rather just finish it off. And there's a small noise in the background we're just all going to ignore. Glide bomb fighters. Interesting. They actually bombed the... J That's incredible. like the last reserves of the fighters leaving the bases <laughs> so that raccoon is being dangerous I'm just gonna fire the torpedoes and get out of here I will actually fire more torpedoes one more turn let's fire them now and that's enough so basically just go back to AI control. And the Africa's been run down as well, so we're not worried about her. Sinking on fire, dead. Good. Good, very good. Everything is mission accomplished. So down the Rhine to cruise. Uh Yeah. Torpedo bombers have just hit the arena. Wait. She's led a, led a very charmed existence. This might be the end for her. Oh, God. We even have a cap overhead. It does not appear to be helping. I have not been paying attention to this. So these are these are torpedoes causing flooding. So that is these are torpedoes definitely from air. So air torpedoes can cause flooding. Well, we might have a casualty. It's I guess it's too much to hope for that we can go. Uh, we can survive once without. It might happen. She does have three thousand remaining. So she's got like thirty minutes to control this. That's a long time. Let's um, start forming up these guys as escorts and stuff like that. So we'll start getting our protection back up. Not the broken ones. Let's get you guys, for example. Go over to the... Oh, I think the arena would be the best one to choose here. Yep, go over. Um, I think I have some cruisers. These guys are going to go help her as well. Somebody's zipping around. Yeah, and now we just want to form up and get out of here. Head south. Oh, yeah. Check those up. Well, not really interesting to me. So they are still going after us. This is three shark glide bombers. That's not a whole lot. They hit us! Incredible. Wow, this is actually my CLAA division. And they just don't care. Okay, so yeah, again, if you're not damaged, then let's get you to, like, go to AI control for that. How's your damage? Pretty worthy enough, I think, for us to take that into, into consideration. 
Uh, you are a very good escort. Go do your escort thing. And you are also a very good escort. And we're at 50 minutes. No, the arena doesn't need more. Let's put this one on the Graf von Eisen. And you as well. Ah, uh, you're, yeah. I guess you're, you have to go there. Who do we have left? Okay, you're damaged. We can get you to go like four. I assume no flooding. Wow, you are like one. We might even just leave you stopped here. <laughs> Although they probably will find you and bomb you. We are forming up now. Yeah, this is good. This is convenient that the other destroyers are there right in time to contribute their AA. And we destroyed one and damaged two. That's out of five, so they have two that are possible. Wow. The arena has been hit again. Flooding is down to seven. We did stick quite a few ships on her, so eventually... There! Finally the cap's doing something. Very good. 19 dive bombers, though. Did not maybe help. Or, I, actually, it may have helped, but... Right, that's still a lot of dive bombers to deal with. Okay, so let's move forward. Down to seven. Flooding is down to seven. I think it's going to be worth it. Well, I don't know, actually. I frankly, don't know. Who is launching torpedoes? I saw somebody's launching torpedoes. I'm not happy with it. Launching, launching. Stasho Swine. Why, 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 why? Where is Stasho Swine? Here? Stasho Swine. Launch torpedoes at the Amphion. Oh my gosh. Don't do that. We have ships nearby. Come on, think. Think, think, think. Really wanted to finish this battle, this one. This turn. That's why I'm trying to get it done. I think flooding a 7 is just what we're stuck at with her. Let's march her out at a speed of 4. <laughs> we're bombing it. Oh, they're going after the DD. <laughs> the one that thought it got away. Yeah, we obviously just want everyone to go home now. Raffanizing has definitely seen better days. Get her down to 12. And some here are... that one's damaged then. You're not, so let's get you... Well, you're not very damaged, at least. Let's get you to also s attach to the Graf von Eisen. Maybe as a screen. That's fine. Okay, should we speed up? There's still ships around, so I don't think we can speed up more than that. Not quite. Anyway. Picking up survivors and stuff like that. That's nice to see, actually. Actually, it says that we can keep going. Big question mark is the arena. Will she hold? Still have as a flooding of seven. So we actually don't want the game to end right now. We need that to be either end right right now. I think it goes for a while, though. Look at the big old cap. You know where the carriers are because of the big old cap. And there's actually one over here, I guess, right? No, there's one right here. So maybe we'll get this group to go help the arena. Okay, it's nighttime anyway now. Flooding is down to zero. I think we'll just wait. Well, let's put it at five, speed five. Surely a speed of five will be fine, right? We'll find out. In fact, the battle is almost over. We're going to be able to end it. Hooray. We did it. Two battle cruisers, six carriers, two light cruisers, five destroyers, and 16 transport ships at the loss of zero German ships. Yeah, we really have gotten a little bit, <laughs> this is like a little bit too good. I had an idea, by the way, I'm going to play the United States eventually, not next. Japan looks like it's next. We'll play with the historical budget, and then that one, the difficulty will come from not having any ships. But the uh, um, after that, I think we'll play as the United States, not immediately afterwards, but at some point. 
And what we'll do is we'll mandate like admiral or rear admiral mode. I don't know yet. We'll see how different it is. Maybe admiral mode, so I have absolutely no control. It's basically AI versus AI. Um, I did not check out all the ships and stuff. Eh, I kind of mucked that up, didn't I? Battle of Lairwick, there it is. I wish I had kind of looked through the numbers, but um, I'm tired. I'm sick. I'm ready to end this video. I'm ready to end this series. And well, we'll see you back for the next episode. We still have more war to fight. And I think at this point we should be very easily blockading them. 278 to 94. Yeah, we have like three times their size. We can actually start invasions at this point. Although France is at 216, so not quite yet. Anyways, for now, thanks for watching. And until the next video, take care.